Holy cracking knuckle farts. Tuesday afternoon, people. I just got my ass out of bed. Yup. Friggin' having one of those sleeps where, you know, the weather's like so nice and things that you just, your body just wants to lay there and hibernate. Maybe I'm part bear. I don't know. But I super did not want to pull my ass out of bed today. No, no, no. I was like really comfy and cozy and I guess Scruffy was comfy and cozy because he freaking was on the bed with me all night last night and he was passed right out too. So don't know, uh, don't think he wanted to get up either, but he's up now, I'm up now, we're up now. So without further ado, let's get this day going and welcome to my vlog. thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go nuts no um, I'm thinking about maybe frying up some burgers because I don't feel like going out to the garage and turning on the barbecue because she just can tad bit chili out and I don't like that kind so I was thinking about just uh, frying up a couple hamburger patties I got no buns to put them on that was gross another thing I want to do is clock bring this down to two o'clock Cause that's driving me nuts there there so that's proper time now i just gotta set my other clock and <clears throat> quite possibly shit my pants and i want to make a pot of coffee well i don't feel like cooking anything frig it I'm not even hungry i don't even know why i said i'm gonna make some burgers I'm not even freaking hungry no but i'm gonna give the dog some more noms because he likes that kind He's that kind. To grow big and strong like a Pomeranian should. Oh man, I need some socks. My feet are freezing. Brr. Sorry why I slept so well last night. Because it's not exactly warm in the house, but it's not exactly cold. The only reason why it's cold downstairs is because that floor has no carpet. And that floor, she's a little chilly. A little chilly. Oh frig yeah, coffee. Need that kind. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go check on my friggin' renders. See how well they're going. Freak sakes and my big uh, Vamo have been vaping the uh, the menthol from Health Cabin, and holy shit, is that ever harsh? As in the menthol, she's really mentholy, if that's even a proper word. If it is, it's really mentholy. Alrighty, just fired up another Cities XL, letting that render up. And while it does its thing, I'm going to go downstairs and do my thing. And my thing is get another cup of coffee thing. Because I sure do love coffee. It's so freaking great. Definitely love coffee. Mm, no. I made too much coffee. How well. Good, good. Whole wheat coffee. I have a bad feeling it's raining out right now. Just judging by the... Uh, the look outside and the wetness on my tiles and things like oh uh, maybe not maybe not but uh she looks pretty gloomy out there yep a dip pretty gloomy indeed oh well what can you do what can you do when you live in a shoe get into a boot and get laced skidoosh so it looks like google wants to get into the whole self-help bullshit eh basically they're they're going to be starting a uh a new website called help out What's help out? Well, it's basically where experts can go into a Google Hangout with an individual for offering help in whatever their profession is. You know, carpentry, home repair, electronics, computer repair, programming, website design, business, work, things like that. So the way it works is, first I shit myself. I can probably make a help out for shitting yourself. Just saying. Uh, the way it works is the professional will basically set up a online help thing for whatever their profession is. The home repair guy, he's got a Google Hangout happening. He char and he can charge. He can either make the service free and he can charge up to whatever amount he wants per session. So let's say you, uh, I don't know, you want to do home re renovation, you're not sure exactly what to do, you don't want to hire a guy, you want to do it yourself to cut costs. You can go into this help out if you run into a trouble and monkey in there will basically explain to you what to do and it works on your smartphone so you can carry them around and show me progress and you can tell you if you cocked it over if you're doing it right and give you more advice and stuff and basically I've seen websites like this before like um, 
uh, ifixit.com and uh, there's other ones out there where you can hire a professional to talk to you and give you advice and stuff on how to do things so that's kind of cool but I don't know I don't know I've never really cared for those kinds of sites I tried one in the past where I basically offered help for computer repair I made this is what pisses me off is uh, you get paid uh, like they charge like the site itself charges two bucks per 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 email back and forth corresponding back and forth and I made about 70 bucks off of it and what sucked is they never paid me and then they just terminated my account when I started asking about payment because it says right on the site 50 bucks over you get paid and I was like well this could be a new career this is the last year when I thought that uh, that uh, my company that I'm working for was going to shut down you know we were getting sold so sure enough I went and tried that made 70 bucks I was like oh sweet but then I never got paid never got paid Three months went by, I never got paid. I'm like, well, what the frick's going on here? Is that just like fictional money? What's actually happening? And then they shut down my account and told me that uh, I was breaching some bullshit EULA, which I wasn't. So I was like, all right, well, obviously this is a big scam, you know. Well, at least I could help some people out. It's too bad they paid for nothing. And I had some pretty good reviews on, on my, my account and everything, but it got shut down. So I was like, well, fuck that noise. But now that Google's doing it, at least you know Google's an honest company somewhat. And, uh, you know, if they're going to pay people to uh, offer help, those people are going to get paid. Unlike these Shanster fly-by-night uh, friggin' overseas companies that open these up and then just completely wreck people and take their money and run, sons of bitches. It's kind of shocked to find out that Nintendo's finally releasing that uh, red mini Wii U to the U.S. market. We've had it up here for like almost a year now, and... I don't know why the hell they'd bother releasing that to the US market. It's like a hundred dollar Wii. Smaller, doesn't play GameCube games, you know. I, I don't understand why anybody would bother buying that. It's kind of a waste. But some people might. Who knows? Who knows? Yay, I found my camera. And I farted. But I found my driving camera. Yay. I have no idea. I've lost it for like over two months and it just magically appeared on my desk so right on gonna probably use this in the car today do a drive to work because it's currently three blurry two three thirty two three twenty two frig sakes and we gotta head off to work very very shortly right now I'm just trying to gurgle back this coffee as fast as possible and then uh, we're gonna head off to work and then uh, we're gonna come home and then uh, we're gonna carry on with vlogging yeah. But before I go anywhere, I want to get one last video game rendered here. This is the City XL. I just have uh, Chivalry to uh, render up next. I wanted to give the game a try because there was a huge update. And the game plays a lot better now. I do like it. So I'm just going to let that render up and then render up the Chivalry. And that's another four games to upload to Skaven Games. And tonight I'm probably going to rock some Minecraft maybe. I don't know. I don't know, because the winter's coming, and usually in the winter is when I game a lot. But I think I might still keep the channel down to one or two videos a day. And uh, I like it like that better, because then I can have more time to do whatever the frig I want, which usually isn't much, but, you know, like hang out with friends and things. Yeah. Alrighty, well, it's friggin' 3.30. Got my last video game video editing right now, or rendering right now, I should say. So I'm going to head off to work and get this shift over with, grab my driving camera. I won't be doing a rolling vlog, but I'll do a video drive to work and home tonight. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go get this shift over with. I'm just going to let, uh, you know, he's sleeping in his bed. He made himself a bed over here. Made himself a little nest. Yes, he did. He likes the confined spaces. But uh, I'll let him out real quick, and then I'm going to get ready, and then we're going to frig off to work and get this shit shift done with. I'm also primed tonight, which means more work for me to do. Yippee. And uh, yeah, so. One Oreo. Great, now he wants to dick around. I'm going to be late for work, and he wants to dick around. Frig suits. Oh well. It's the way she blows, people. The way she blows. So, I'm going to wait for him to be done doing whatever the frig he's doing out there. 
and then uh, we got a bounce. I think what I might do is take out my last ham. My last ham. I gotta buy more of these. These freaking things are awesome. And fire you in the fridge, let you thaw out. And then tonight when I get home, I might cook a ham. Look at him way down there. Like, I gotta go to work, bud. And he's just dicking around. Like, freak sakes. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even think about it, you little peckerhead. Alright, I gotta go call him back. Alright, here we go back in the house. Let's get off to work. Freak yeah. We're back home. Frig yeah. Got the dog. Gonna let him outside for his potty. It's midnight. Weather outside is right dipped. It's like 10 degrees Celsius out. I don't get it. Calling for rain tomorrow. Snow Thursday. Snow Friday. Snow Saturday. Snow Sunday. Mom and dad were hoping for a nice day this weekend so they can put up their Christmas lights because they really want to get that done. Okay puppy. Come on Oreo. I gotta rock a piss. I can't just leave them out there because they'll probably get destroyed by the wildlife. And I really, 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 really got to pee. So yeah, I was chatting with uh, the business CSR rep and apparently it was last year this time when I switched from Kojiko to, uh, like when I switched off of Kojiko to our company's uh, internet. And after talking to her, she's like, oh yeah, if you wanted to leave, you can, but you know, we're currently working on getting this resolved and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And uh, apparently we're gonna be upping our speed, so I'll get, for the price I'm paying now, I'll get the uh, 20 down, 10 up. So I was like, oh, okay, well, if you're gonna give me that, then sweet, because uh, next month, I'm gonna start paying $44.95 instead of 30, uh, 40 bucks a month. And uh, that kind of pisses me off, because the damn service doesn't work the way it should, because they need to fix shit and they're not doing it. So that's what I'm thinking about saying, frigate, welcome to Vianette. Oh, I know I should be playing some Minecraft tonight, because I said I was gonna play some Minecraft, but uh, Adrian's off tomorrow and he wants to play some Grand Theft Auto Online, and I kind of want to play some Grand Theft Auto Online too, because, well, that game's just fun. So, what are you doing? Having problems getting out of your bed, buddy? Hey, bubby? Who's a bubby? Who's a little bubby? You are a bubby. He's a bubby. But, uh, kind of feel like having a little bit of lacquer. And I don't know where my liquor went. I had a bottle of liquor up here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. I've never tried scotch before. And uh, I have this shit. Dwar's White Label Blended Scotch Whiskey. One of Scotland's most awarded whiskeys. I guess all whiskeys are most awarded whiskeys. So, I was gonna try a little bit and see how it works. And uh, you guys can witness me trying scotch for the first time. How's that for fun? Yeah, so I put a little bit in my glass. Yep, smells strong. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, 
Nope, I'm not a scotch drinker. Wow, ah, that's a taste I'll never get out of my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Some people say put ice in with it. I got a better idea. I'm gonna mix it with Coke with this shit. Friggin' diet. See how this tastes. Can't be any worse, I don't think. We'll see, that's tolerable. Oh, I can't wait to see the comments after that one. Holy shit, you ruined a perfectly good scotch by adding coke to it and things and pussy and blah 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 and yada 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 and was was bing bang and everybody's gonna talk a big game being like, oh, I drink scotch, I drink scotch with my freaking eggs in the morning and I'm a big goof and uh, things and you know, whatever. Everybody has their own taste. I'm more of a rum drinker myself. I don't really like rye, and not really liking whiskey that much either, so I prefer rum over anything. I guess that's why I call myself a pirate. Yarr. So, it is what it is. Oh shit, forgot my driving cam. But uh, it is what it is. Not everybody's uh, beverage is uh, the same. Some people like the rye. I know my buddy at work, he's a big time rye drinker. He loves his Crown Royal, but when he can't afford that, he buys this cheaper stuff, which is not too bad. I've tried it. I bought a little shit bottle of it, and it wasn't too shabby. And uh, he swears by the stuff. He loves it. But for me, I love my Bacardi rum. <clears throat> Bacardi rum is the way for me. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, people, I'm going to call her quits for tonight and carry on tomorrow. Not too much going on tonight now. I'm going to go play some Grand Theft Auto with Adrian. Probably record for a couple hours and then go to bed. So if you like today's video, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. They go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.